Hey guys, how's it going? I'm EG Magnum, and uh, yeah, I'm morning here, figured out a fix for the uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 stutter. So uh, I'm going to start up the game and show the stutter real quick. So pretty much, um, again, so I'm sorry about the no light being on or anything. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Um, starting the game up, I'll have to see if I can move it over to the other screen here, just because... Um, Display capture won't capture the laptop screen, which is weird. But here we go. Uh, so if you've been in the hub and you've been trying to walk around and it's stuttering and you can't really move at all. Um, so to show off what I'm talking about for the stutter. So I've opened it up normally with the launcher itself. So there we go. Move it over. And it's going to ship two. And so as soon as you log in and you're trying to walk around, equip items, anything, even trying to like invite a friend, a friends list, um, anything like that. It's uh, been really frustrating to just even try to play the game in the hub. So let's see. So you're moving around and there we go. That little stutter right there. So especially when it gets really crowded. Look, there's nobody hardly here right now this early in the morning. But when he gets really, look at this, like that right there, that kind of stutter. And sometimes it gets really, really bad. Again, this isn't really prime time right now. You can get away with some things, but that little hitch that you can see going on every couple of seconds, that's the big issue. So we're gonna go, now that people are loading in, so this will happen if you're going into your menus trying to, to do whatever like this this happens while you're trying to feed your mag or whatever you're, you're trying to do so um it actually got really bad when there was a concert going on and everybody wanted to buff over here there we go so there it hitched up a couple of times but luckily in the mornings i'm guessing it has something to do with the launcher and trying to Check for updates, but there we go. There was another couple more. Anyway, point being, we've got a fix. So here we go. We're going to exit game. And okay, guys. So real quick, found a really good example of the stutter here in both menus and in just the game itself. So here we go. There was a one right there. And see, here's another one. Um, but yeah, like, it was doing that. It got a lot worse at some points, but I just randomly clicked and found a good example. So I think we have some more right there. It did it again. Like, it's just stuttering all over the place. Um, yeah. So now after the change, it's not been a problem. Um, just realize I'm recording this after doing the video, so I haven't actually shown the change yet. But here we go. We'll go ahead and skip a little bit because here's a really good example of the stutter right here. And then, I mean, just yeah, like not frame drop or anything like that. That is literally how it feels to just play the game. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty meh. There's another one right here where I just decided to move around and yeah like it but luckily we've had a fix for it and it's fixed mine so here we go we're gonna close down the launch client still okay launch client's gone okay so here we go we're, we're in the files so what you want to do take your uh, .exe file copy it paste it right then rename your launcher. So rename it to old or dash or whatever you want to do, just so it's a different name so that it's not trying to run the launcher. And then you take the copy here and rename this to PSO2 launcher. Oops, I can spell. 
There we go. And then we'll copy and paste this back into here. Do it. Now it's going to use the exe file when it's trying to find the launcher and it's just going to launch the game. Now what this means is if you see an update or if they do an update, you're going to have to rename the launcher to like, to, well, do what it is. So if you need the launcher to come back up, you just put like two dashes here and then take the dash off the other one, which we'll do that here in a second. But now we'll go ahead and actually launch the game. And it will have a lot less stutter. And by a lot less, I pretty much had, the only stutter I had is the lag of somebody going from like here to suddenly here in like a second. And that lag is fine and kind of to be expected. Here we go. We'll swap this over. And the G-Force experience, I swear, I have that completely closed down and it still pops up. What in the world? Okay. So, I forgot to change the sound around a bit, but uh, I do that. There we go. Turn that down just a wee bit. I got a little loud. Uh, forgot that it resets like that. But anyway, we're loading in. Should have went to a more crowded thing, that's what I should have done. Sorry, it's a more crowded one, but I think it's one of the new player ones. There we go. Where's our guys? Um, but yeah, I was doing this earlier, and again, no like huge staggers. I can go around. It is completely bearable. Easy to talk to whoever it takes place. Come over here. No stutter. Pretty much whatsoever. And all you'll see is if somebody is running, you see the people just kind of teleport. And it starts normal lag. Which is all I expect in these. So, hallelujah. This is a slightly complicated fix. Let's go and log out. So, again, if you are going to do this, um... And there's an update that comes out. Say there's an update that comes out tomorrow, or even today. Uh, now all I have to do is go in here, rename the launcher to something else, rename the original launcher back to its normal name, and then we'll come over here, click the button to get it started, and oh. I had to wait for it to close out now. Round two. So the game was still running. Okay, hang on. One sec. So that could be a issue as well. Make sure the game closes. Because it is now saying that it is still running. So let's try it again. Not seeing it on uh, the task manager at all. So it just took a second to close. So be aware of that. And there it is. The launcher is up now. 
And so then you would check for updates this way. And if you wanted to update your settings or anything, you could do that here. So yeah, that's a fix. So again, I'll be using this. So I'm going to put this back. So I'll put a dash here in front of this one. And two dashes. Take that out. And boom. So now I use the exe file to just straight up launch the game. Won't even have to do the launcher or anything. And stutter gone. It is outstanding. Um, because especially in prime time where there's a lot of people on, it gets so bad. I can't, like, we were just trying to uh, walk to the same place and show me a thing, and I it was so choppy. Like I could I could go to the stream and like show how bad it is, but it yeah it's pretty bad. Um, who knows? I might even throw up a clip or something in the description of this video. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Usual links and stuff will be down in the description below. Twitch, Twitter, Discord. So anyway, guys, hope this helps some people because for me. That kind of stutter was almost feeling like it was making the game unplayable, and it was just a nightmare to be in the hub, especially when there's a lot of people on. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace!